Hello, this is meteorologist Brian James with the latest Encore weather current, severe weather alert. We do have the possibility of strong and severe thunderstorms coming up later on today. Right now, looking at the radar and satellite, we do have some scattered thunderstorms primarily to the north. We have quite a bit of cloud cover across most of north and central Texas, but there are some breaks in the clouds and there's an increase in some of the low level moisture. What we're watching is a storm system back to the west of us. This is gonna take a track to the east and then turn off toward the northeast and it's gonna interact with some Gulf of Mexico moisture. And as it does, we'll likely see scattered thunderstorms develop as we go into and through the afternoon. There is a slight to enhanced risk for severe weather at level two and three across the large part of North and Central Texas. And we have to be weather aware for this. Slight risk from mineral wells back toward the west, but enhanced risk at level three out of five across DFW up towards Denton includes Collin counties and points to the east over towards Mount Pleasant, Canton, Athens, down to Palestine and Corsicana. Large hail greater than two inches in diameter damaging winds in excess of 65 miles an hour and a few tornadoes will be possible. Let's talk about the timing of storms as we go through the rest of the afternoon. You'll see scattered thunderstorms develop as we go into the afternoon and evening hours. By 5 o'clock, we're looking for a few thunderstorms to develop back to the west and northwest. By 9 o'clock, you see the scattering of thunderstorms from the I-35 corridor over towards Paris, down to about the DFW Metroplex, and then back down toward the southwest. Some of these storms could have some very strong winds, some large hail, and perhaps a few brief tornado spin-ups. By 11 o'clock, the storms are making the way to the east of the I-35 corridor, affecting areas around Greenville, Mount Pleasant, Paris, stretching down toward Corsicana to the east of Waco. For the rest of the overnight hours, those storms continue to march to the east, Texar Canada, Mount Pleasant, down towards Palestine, but around DFW, things are quieting down by 1 a.m. And by the time we get to tomorrow morning, we'll have some scattered leftover clouds. And then for Tuesday afternoon, big story is going to be breezy conditions and warm. Temperatures will climb to the upper 80s to near 90 degrees by the time it's all said and done for Tuesday afternoon. Forecast for today, scattered thunderstorms develop around DFW. Wichita Falls, storms will develop as we go through the mid-morning to early afternoon hours. Farther south, the storms will develop later into the afternoon and evening. High temperatures, a mix of 70s and 80s across the state. For tomorrow, windy afternoon with most of the storms well to the east, but look at the temperatures. A mix of upper 80s to as warm as the mid-90s, but it will cool down. Take a look at the uh, rest of the seven-day forecast. And you'll see that we'll have generally dry weather for the next seven days. There is a cold front that's going to make its way in as we go through the afternoon hours of Tuesday into Wednesday. And of course, that's going to cool us down from the upper 80s back to the 70s and even 60s for a couple of days. And then we'll see sunshine for the weekend as temperatures start to bounce back up. But gusty winds from uh, frequently as we head through the rest of the next week. Don't forget to download the My Encore app. It puts more power at your fingertips. You can find it at the App Store or in Google Play Store, and it's free. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your Monday, and stay weather aware.